Howdy folks. Your local mechanic here. Today we're we're gonna show you how to do a diagnostic on, on this here this here uh, engine. So uh, the cu customer said that it it won't run no more, so we're gonna do some diagnostic work on it, find out find out what it's all about, find out what happened. So you know you you see I've already got on the lift. No, you don't necessarily have to have a lift, but, but it helps. It, it does help. So we're going to lift it up. So again, you don't necessarily you don't have to have a button on your lift, but it does help. It sure does help. That, that's good. You don't, you don't necessarily have to have a drain, but it helps. It, it does help. So we're going to get a drain, and it looks like, well, looks like it might be a little strip. So, we're going to get out the equalizer right here. And see if we can't get the right side. It's a, first I tried a 14 and it, it was a 13. You don't necessarily have to have a 13, but it, it sure does help. And it does help to be able to see what you're doing. Cause you know I really can't see too well. Yep, she, she's pretty tight. She's pretty tight on there, so. Now when you get a smaller ratchet like this one, you don't necessarily have to have a small ratchet like this, but it does help, it, it sure does help. So part of the diagnostic we're we're doing here, we got we gotta see what's what what's in the oil. You know, when the car comes in not running, you gotta you gotta see what that oil is all about. Doesn't look too bad. Look at that. Look at that. I did I say perfect fit, but it's it doesn't look bad. So you gotta make sure you, you drain it out good and get all the oil out that you can. Cause you know, you don't necessarily have to have all the oil out to diagnose it, but it, it helps, it, it does help. You got, I don't know why the thing quit running yet. I don't, you know, motors just, they, they just quit running sometimes, you know, they. This time they just they just quit running. Don't don't know why. And they, they have to run because when they run, they help when they run. It make makes it good. So now we're now we're gonna make sure we put this drain plug back in good and tight. So you gotta you got you gotta put the drain plug in tight. If you don't tighten the drain plug, it doesn't help. You, you gotta tighten the drain plug. So come with me. Come with me. We're gonna make sure this drain plug's good and tight. You know, it it, ha it has to be tight. I don't I don't want one coming back leaking on me. So I'm just gonna do it like like this here. It's still moving. I don't, I don't think that's getting it quite tight enough, folks, so hold on. We're, we're going we're gonna to get out a, a little bit bigger wrench. Now, you don't, you don't necessarily have to have a big wrench like this one, but it helps. It does help. Make sure it's good and tight. Oh, yeah, you see, it's still moving. That, that, that must mean she's tight. So, that's good. You, you don't necessarily have to have a big impact and tighten those down, but it does help. So, all right, let's, let's see what else we got to do to diagnose this thing. 